everyone, it's Captain Blunder and welcome to another exciting episode of Plunder or Blunder! The show that's got both. Now you may be looking and asking, Captain, what is that magnificent thing you're wearing? Oh, well, it's just my Boba Fett onesie, no big deal. The reason is, first of all, it is Mando Friday here in my universe, and secondly, I have had my eyes set on Grand Admiral Thrawn for the last two and a half weeks, and I finally located him, I've tracked him down, so I decided to put on my best Mando gear to make sure the hunt is completed. Let's check out how it goes. So as you guys may have seen from the last video, I'm recommending putting in Chopper instead of Sabine. Here's why maintenance protocols at the start of his turn, Chopper recovers 15% of his max health. In addition, whenever he is damaged by an attack, he gains protection up 15% if he doesn't have protection up. Additionally, Chopper has a 30% chance to assist when another Phoenix ally uses an ability. That is awesome. I think it's going to help out a lot. Metal Menace dispels all buffs on target enemy. For each buff dispelled this way, all enemies lose 10% turn meter, and Chopper gains 25% protection. Droid targets are also stunned for one turn, which cannot be evaded. That's not going to come up in this. Cantankerous Clanker, Chopper gains taunt for one turn. While he has the taunt buff, Chopper gains 30% evasion. Fantastic, he's going to be dodging a lot of attacks. And finally, Reckless Fling, deal physical damage to a target enemy and grant a random Phoenix or Droid ally offense up, defense up, or speed up at random for two turns with a 60% chance to also reduce that ally's cooldown by one. That's amazing. So three out of five times, he is hopefully going to be reducing our... A special ability so let's put him in there putting in chopper let's see just how that goes but before we do that i want to show because i'm doing this at year eight nothing else added so i needed to mod these characters very specifically to work so let's see just how i modded everybody so harrison doula i wanted her to be fast so she could use call-ins and use backup plan when necessary so let's take a look though at the specifics of it so she's got pretty good speed upgrade 178 she's got solid health and protection which is secondary to the speed that's the the two other most important things of her build we want her to stay alive we do not want to lose Hera by any means necessary we have to keep her up so let's check out Chopper though. Gave him a lot of speed in health mods. You could probably get around by just using health mods, but the thing is with Chopper, I wanted him around 200 speed to make this work. I got him to 198, which I think is kind of the minimum. He also has decent health and protection. Again, he's getting that, uh, that health back. He's getting protection up. So I wanted to boost that as much as possible, increase his survivability so he can keep doing call-ins, keep reducing everybody's special abilities. All right, and Ezra Bridger, mostly modded. He's modded for crit damage and crit chance. He's got a good amount of speed. He still has pretty high protection, not a ton of health, but since we don't have Sabine, I wanted somebody put outputting as much DPS as possible. So Ezra seemed to be the one to do this. Uh, he's got good crit chance. He's got pretty decent damage at gear eight. So I think he is just about ready to do this. And then let's check out Garazeb. Now, Garazeb, you should put potency mods on him for this because we're going to call him in as much as possible, trying to put up days, get him to stun characters, but I don't have any potency mods yet, so modded him out for protection and health, got him some speed, he's doing some extra crit damage. You could see only 1.33% extra potency. I would be shooting for at least 25%, but this is what I got. I am impatient, so I'm going to go for it. See if this is enough to get what I want. Get that 7-star Grand Admiral Thrawn. And finally, Kanan Jarrus. Kanan coming in. He's got a little bit of speed going. Mostly health, though. I looked for health primaries for just about everything I could, and he has some decent protection as well. But I mostly wanted to keep his health way up so he could be the main tank, take all the hits that he can, soak as much damage as possible, probably throw up backup plan onto Kanan just to make sure that uh, if he's taking all the hits and he ends up dying, he will come back. You can see here, not the most speed in all these mods, but there's enough protection and health in these that I think it's going to be possible to do this event. Four speed here and there, three speed here and there, four speed again. See, it's not, it's not the best, but... I think this can work. With what I got, I think it may just work. So let's do it. Let's go in. 
Seven Star Thrawn, here we come, everybody. All right, Chopper gonna throw up Taunt, and let's call in Zeb, just to show. Look, we got a daze already, so this is gonna be pivotal. We, we're gonna want to call in, call in Zeb whenever possible. And let's do a big hit. Okay, all right. Perfect, okay, and let's, yeah, let's do that. And we're gonna do the big hit. Maybe it'll kill, nope, no Flourish, Flourish not gonna kill him. That's okay. We still, we got this. All right, Zeb's gonna, oh, and there goes another stun. All right, Chopper, take the taunt. Oh, and everybody got healed. All right, he was the healthiest, so let's go for him. Maybe, nope, no expose on him, though. All right, Chopper, keep throwing rocks. I like it when you throw rocks. What a funny attack to have. You're in Star Wars and you're just using rocks. All right, uh, yeah, let's take out Stormtrooper Commander. Again, gonna call him in. Look at that, instant stun, and we killed him anyway. So let's go for this Stormtrooper. He was the healthiest. Nope, didn't, didn't do anything. All right, let's go ahead and daze him. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just throw rocks and a flourish. All right, another one down. Here we go, two left. And just, yep, that's all you got, so keep hitting him. Oh, and Chopper got called in. Look at that exact, oh, Chopper getting called in again. Almost killing him. There he goes, Chopper taking him down. We're on to phase two. All right, let's go ahead and daze the commander. Then I can call him in and get a stun so no one's gonna heal. No one's gonna heal no matter what, because he is dead. He is the healthiest. Let's get an expose up. Ooh, missed on that one. Okay, that's all right. Counterattacks taking him out, though. Okay, all right, all right. This is going pretty well. All right, chopper. Yeah, just throw. Okay. Yep, and then let's do a flourish. Maybe it'll kill him. And it did kill him. Okay, that's what I like to see. And now we got to take out... Let's take him out with a... Yeah. But I think the... Yep, counterattack's going to do him in. Kanan, take him down a little bit. Hera is going to kill him on that counterattack. Fantastic. He is the healthiest, and he is down as well. We're on to three. Okay, let's take out Death Troopers first, because they're really going to wreak some havoc against these rebels. Uh, yeah, just basic. And he's down. Okay, now we got to take out this other Death Trooper next. Look at that. That's what I like to see. Come on, everybody, take him down. He's down! Okay, now we're going to go for the Stormtrooper because he's going to throw up taunt. So, I want to save my special abilities. So, I'm just not going to use anything other than basics from here on out. Just to make sure that when I get into Thrawn's chamber, that everything is ready to go. And... Hopefully, praying to RNG Jesus that this is going to go smoothly. So let's go. All right. Yeah, just a basic. Take him out. Perfect. All right. De facto healthiest and chopper. Just coming with all these extra assists. But here we go. Ho, 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 baby. Let's go, Thrawn. What you got? I have studied you battling my troops. Your weaknesses are obvious. The fight will mark the turning point. I'm too excited. I'm just clicking through everything. Let's go. Okay. All right. So we're going to probably need to take out the Stormtrooper first. Or maybe not. Let's flourish him. No. You know what? Let's call in Zeb. Daze him. Because then maybe I can stun him. And then take him down with the flourish. Let's put protection up onto Chopper. Okay. Yep. Okay. So he taunted again. And his daze is gone. That's okay. Chopper, take taunt. All right, we're going to flourish, and we're going to try and take out this Death Trooper as quick as possible. Before he can get healed up. All right, so Hera, call in. Uh, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to put backup plan on Chopper because he is taunting right now. Now we're going to have Kane and Taunt remove the health immunity from Hera. All right, we got a daze up, and let's take this Death Trooper's buffs away. Yeah, everybody lost. Turn meter. Good. Okay, Kanan took the fracture. That is okay. That was unless... Don't kill him, though. No, don't kill him. All right, Colin... Colin... Uh, Colin Zeb. Just, oh, didn't get the stun. Okay, that's okay. We still got this. Look at it. Okay, so we're still getting dazes up from Zeb. 
please don't kill Kanan. I would really like to have counterattacks. All right, that's what I like to see from you, Gerazeb. Smack him. We're going to go in. All right, one more hit. Big hit. Death Trooper's down. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we need to try and get the other Death Trooper out as quickly as possible. So, uh, he's the healthiest. I'm probably not going to land that exposed. So, let's just go for Death Trooper. Yeah, take the... Oh, okay. Now, his taunt is down. And... No, oh, Kanan! Kanan, I needed you! All right, we're going to try. We're going to try, though. This isn't... This isn't over. All right, Colin Zeb. All right, all right, good. He's stunned. All right, finish him off. Yes! Okay. Now, let's go ahead and try and kill these Stormtrooper commanders so they cannot... Mmm, he fractured Zeb. Don't like that. Okay. Really want to take out the Stormtrooper commanders because they're just going to keep healing, but I may have to kill... Uh, the Stormtrooper first. Let's put this up on Ezra just because we're not getting protection back from Zeb right now. Okay, so Flourish. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for him. I'm just going to go for him. Let's call in Ezra. Do some damage. He's almost there. All right. Uh, taunt. Okay. Call in Zeb. Yes! Okay. Um, do what? Yeah, let's just basic. Throw the rocks. Okay. Protection up on... Yeah, let's do it. On Chopper. The Chopper's going to taunt here soon. Flourish. Oh, look at him coming in with the assists. Okay. All right. All right. Yes! Nice hit, Zeb. Okay, we're, we're taking out Stormtrooper now. Just got to take out the Stormtrooper real quick. Ooh, he fractured Zeb again. All right, we're just going to take out his Stormtrooper friend, though. Taunt up. This is it. This is it. Okay, so we're going to call in... No, let's just do basic. I was hoping for an expose. Didn't happen. All right. Protection up. Flourish. Okay, call in Zeb. So we get protection up on both of us. Okay, uh, let's throw protection on Hera. I do not want her dying this time. Call in Zeb! Yeah, okay, got a daze up. Okay, if I'm quick about this, and, uh, well, he used maneuver, so never mind. Okay. Daze him again. No daze. Okay, come on, come on. Flourish. No, call in Zeb. Call in Zeb. I was hoping for more dazes. Ooh, he fractured Ezra. Okay, let's put backup plan on Ezra, just in case. His health is looking real low. Taunt up with Chopper. All right, Colin Zeb. Yes. Okay, we're getting dazes. That didn't do anything. That's okay. All right, stun him. No, oh, didn't stun. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got another exposed. Look at that. Some extra damage. Throw the rocks. Oh, she survived. Okay, okay, we're good. She's fractured, but we're good. Uh, Colin Zeb, more protection. And yeah, I was hoping for another for another daze. Taunt up. Big hit. No, yeah, we need protection. We need protection. I cannot lose this. Throw rocks. Flourish. Oh, more rocks. Big hit. Oh, this is going to be it. Ezra. Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We did it. You guys, we did it. Oh, oh baby. Oh, I forgot what this feels like so early on to get Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, all right, calm down. Calm down, Captain. Calm down. You did real good. Let's go. And there was an achievement, Grand Admiral's Gambit, getting five more Vader shards ever closer to seven stars so we can start going for R2-D2. But let's go check out Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm going to upgrade him right now because we, we did it. We did it. Let, promote him. Promote that bad boy. <laughs> yes! Oh, look at him go! Woo! Oh, man. Grand Admiral Thrawn, the chest that won't miss, now at 7 star. I am just 18 days into the game and already have Grand Admiral Thrawn. I thought this was going to take at minimum a month to get, but again, with the recent Shard Economy update, with the double drops from the previous weekend, I was able to push everything way ahead of schedule, and now we're on to phase two of my master plan. Phase two, going for Emperor Palpatine next. We're going to seven star him. And then we're going to look at the rest of my empire faction. See which of them are closest to seven star. Who I can reasonably get there 
quickly and will be effective in the R2-D2 event. So then we can get R2-D2 and start farming our Episode 4 characters to push towards Commander Luke Skywalker. So here it is, everybody. Plunder or blunder? What do we think? I think no questions asked. Why am I even put posing the question? It's a total plunder! So again, we are way ahead of schedule, about two weeks ahead of schedule. Just need to finish getting these Empire characters done so we can get R2-D2. Move on to the next phase. Everybody, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I hope that the modding and showing how it's done was very helpful because I was confused myself trying to go through uh, with Sabine instead of Chopper. Turns out if you're doing gear eight minimum, you got to have the right mods and throw in Chopper and it's totally doable. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this and I know I did. So until next time, cheers.